I know you waiting for the skip ad button to appear. But wait, I have to tell you about a platform which has helped thousands of students to get their first job. It includes 200 plus courses, certifications, projects, upskilling, placement preparations, tracks for service based as well as product based companies, internship with TCSIN, and so much more, all under one subscription. Prep Insta Prime, your one stop solution for all your placement needs. Check out Prep Insta Prime now to prove me wrong. Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. As we all know that Goldman Sachs has already announced its summer internship for the batch of 2024. So we have come up with the set of videos in this kind of series where you can find the uh, videos related to verbal, related to the syllabus video, related to the recruitment process of Goldman Sachs, related to aptitude, related to coding questions of uh, Goldman Sachs and everything. So over here today, I'll be discussing about the logical questions which have being expected by us in the upcoming examination for the batch of 2024. So before discussing the major parts and major questions uh, for this session, first I'll be discussing some pointers about logical reasoning. And uh, also, I'll also let you know that what you can expect over there, what kind of questions can be there, what you should do, what kind of uh, preparation techniques you should opt for so that it can help you to crack this examination. So the very first thing is that like uh, what you know about the examination. First thing is very important to know that what do you know about the examination. So first I will tell you that what the examination is all about. So in Goldman Sachs as you can see on my screen that we expect approximately 36 questions in a time uh, period of 90 minutes where you can find uh, uh, questions related to logical reasoning that too in the MCQ type that is you just have to take the correct answer over there you have to keep this in mind that uh, in Goldman Sachs we have also seen in the past years that there is a uh, chance of negative marking so as for the last year trends and everything what we have seen uh, from the last year recruitment rise and everything plus five is for correct answer and minus two is for the incorrect answer when we specifically discuss about logical, then uh, you can also expect over there the, uh, the questions from three wide range topics that is abstract reasoning, diagrammatic reasoning and logical reasoning. In diagrammatic reasoning, you can expect questions related to visual reasoning, for example, paper fold for example, mirror images, for example, some of the kind of, you know, uh, cubes and dice or some uh, kind of questions. Whereas in logical reasoning, you can expect blood relations, distance and direction. That is our conventional logical topics, for example, clocks and calendars and uh, dis uh, directional sense and such kind of topics. Whereas when we talk about abstract topics, then we have uh, something related to Venn diagram interpretation where just you have to, you know, you'll be given a set of data where you have to come up with the questions and their solutions related to the Venn diagram. And you have to calculate some of the other things where you have to look up for such things. So. This is basically a zest of what you can expect in the logical reasoning question and answers round. So before going towards the today's session questions, first I would like to tell you all that of course, you, as you all know our drill, that the top three commentators on this video will be awarded with the free access to Prep Insta Prime membership. Over there you can just learn each and everything about uh, uh, about Prime membership and uh, just before that I would like to give you one, you know, kind of uh, 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 like uh, what do we, what you can say, a kind of, you know, a presentation of what we have for you on our Prep Insta Prime membership uh, subscription over there you can find n number of you know courses related to your skills for example as we know that Goldman Sachs may be a very first company for you guys so it is important to learn kind of skills which you should have on your resume or maybe at the time of your interview so that you can become uh, a way out of others like you can be very different from others what makes you different from others is nothing but the skills and the certifications you have on your resume so uh, always remember that you have to be different from others in terms of skills as well as in terms of knowledge like what kind of knowledge do you have are you having a basic knowledge or are you having an intermediate knowledge or just 
you are uh, going somewhere you know with the things where you have mastered a particular topic or a particular skill so you have to become uh, very much you know uh, in uh, you have to practice such kind of things which you know give you a sense of confidence at the time of interview where the interviewers can ask you each and everything and how you can go up with them so other than this as we all know that uh, we uh, come with uh, like different different instagram handles for you guys so in instagram you can follow us on 2024 instagram ha uh, handles so see it is very important that as you all have got this information that goldman sachs is hiring what about the other companies what about the other opportunities which are way uh, which are on their way and you just have to be very much connected with everything and every part where from where you can get such kind of information so don't worry our csc team handles everything very well and over there you can get each and every update regarding each and every full time opportunity as well as the internship programs which are released from each and every company just for you guys so that you can understand and you can you know apply for each and every opportunity because uh, this will increase your chances to you know grab such kind of offers which uh, so that at the end of your placement year you have n number of offer letters in your hand and then you are the one who is going to decide that which offer letter should i accept for my own self do not leave yourself just with one or two choices where also at last uh, as we all know that what has recession done uh, to us and to the students at this point of time so other than that you can even connect with us on whatsapp as well as on our uh, telegram where you can get the instant updates and daily updates on uh, different different uh, you know campus hiring uh, off campus hiring or the opportunities which are coming up other than this see discord is a very cool you know community as you all must know this so over discord we have a community of 30000 people where we have a cool mentors so uh, no worries you just have to come over discord you have to join our uh, prepinsta.com server and there you can drop your queries so that our mentors are there to help you each and every hour and you can find us over there 24/7 you can find our mentors 24/7 you can have a, a solution for each and every query of yours other than this the uh, last note on which i would be ending this a uh, particular uh, segment is that uh, uh, linkedin is a very important thing these days so start maintaining your linkedin start uh, like you know building your linkedin so that at the time of your placement year that with you will be probably next year then you have you know your linkedin very well established and the interviewers before interviewing will be definitely checking your interview uh, will be checking your linkedin profile so over there it has to be different from others like in terms of certifications in terms of skills in terms of languages in terms of recommendations in terms of everything so try and grab everything which is good for your linkedin and which can up uh, you know upskill your linkedin at the very same time so with this we would be seeing our very first question of this session that is find the missing figure so over here you have to find the missing figure so as you all know you can see this you know whole diagram and then you have to decide which of the question which of the following uh, options will be the very correct answer for the same so i would be giving you 30 seconds to solve the question and then i'll be tell i'll be discussing the solution with you guys so i hope that you can solve it very easily okay so as i expect from each and every one of you that you might have got the correct answer so we will be starting with the discussion of the question as you can see in the very first row of mine i have numbered the you know given elements 1 2 3 3 2 1 3 2 3 1 again so what do you expect that what kind of you know a uh, pattern is going on over here so what i see is that the elements are going upwards and then they are returning back to this position and then again they are going upwards so nothing uh, is done over here it is simply you know the reverse up going of the element so first the element was at the very first place 
very first place then it came to the third place that is it was going upwards but since it was already at its first place it has came downwards then again with the second element it has gone upwards in the third element it was already at its third position so it has came over to its second place in the next diagram you can see that the element was at its third position and now it has moved upwards and has come towards the second position then in the given question in the given uh, second uh, like uh, element you can see that the object has already reached its top position that was somewhere over here and then it has reached here then in the last element you can see that the element was at its third position then it came to its second position and then it came to its first position so i hope that you might have understood the question now in the second row you can see that all the elements are going towards the upward position and that to at the very same time like see over here all the elements were at the second position whereas in the next figure it came to the third position and in the last option it came towards its first position so now over here we will see that how the uh, elements are moving over here so let us suppose name this as first second and third position over here as per the logic uh, uh, derived it will be coming towards second third and then first position if our logic was correct then in the last position we will be finding the correct uh, like the correct relationship so over here it was in second so we have found it this at third correct third first correct and then from first it is going towards second so as we all know that our very first element is at second position so automatically option c and option d are eliminated from this uh, like you can say answer so this technique is known as the option elimination technique where you have to you know simply just eliminate the given options and then you can ultimately find the correct answer so as i have eliminated option c and d so now we are only left with a and b so in the second row we have seen that the element was at the very third position so again option b cannot be our answer at all, as all the elements are in the same alignment so obviously option a is our correct answer so i hope that everyone must have understood the question and will be able to solve the same question now with the same thing we will be moving towards the next question so over here again we have come up with the question find the missing figure that is this so see over here i would like to tell you that in such kind of alpha numeric questions what is the very first thing to find as you can see the question and you can not understand the logic over here so you try and deduce the complete series into one kind of series for example what i believe that it is easy to play with number rather than to play with you know the alphabets and alphabets also at some point of time can be deduced into uh, numericals so yes it becomes for us easier over there so as we can see that 11 2 6 4 and 5 cannot be connected with any kind of logic so over here i will be rather than uh, rather than playing with the alpha uh, like uh, alphabets i'll be playing with their number what would be their number for example v is having 22nd position in the alphabetical series l is having the 12th series 12th number in the given series x is having 24th number now i hope that many of you might have you know deduced the logic by uh, till now so the logic is very simple they have simply multiplied the above two digits and the resultant of the same is placed over here with its alphabetical series position similarly 11 twoza is nothing but 22 and we have v at its position over here 26 at 12 12 is nothing but l in the alphabetical series 
Six fours are is nothing but twenty four, and we have x in the given series. Similarly, four fives are is nothing but twenty, and over twenty we have t as the given position. So again, option A is our right answer. So I hope that many of you might have understood the question. For such kind of questions, you can obviously visit our Prepinster Prime uh, website where you can find such kind of questions, such kind of you know uh, courses and everything where you can just go up and uh, look for you know logical reasoning uh, course of ours where you can find each and every theoretical video right from scratch. If you are in fact weak into any topic, for example, selection, decision table, or maybe blood relations or anything, you can find the videos right from scratch. Till the you know advanced level, and you can come up and learn each and everything. And if you are looking up to buy the same thing, then you can obviously look for the coupon code in the description box of this video, and then you can go to uh, our purchase page, and you can find heavy discounts over there, and then you can purchase the Preference to Prime uh, subscription. Uh, then now we'll be moving towards our next question. So next question. So now let us look up to the next question. Okay. Sorry. Hmm. Vijay Vada is coded as B X B E B. W K K D Z. Okay, so what I can see over here is that uh, a relationship which is related to you know maybe A B, okay, or something like that. I can see some of the uh, letters are succeeded because yes, I can see that B is over here. I can say that uh, yes, X is also there. W is also there. So what I will do is now try to break the word. So I can say Vijay and Avada. So when I'll be writing the successors of these alphabets, then it will be nothing but so yes. I have established my relationship that is B X B E B that is the end five letters are reversed and written at the first position and then the last is first five letters are written at the second position. So again, I will try to do it with the same crystalla. You have to bifurcate the complete word into equal parts that is four words, four words here. Four letters, sorry. Okay, so Chris can be written as who? Cool. So I can see that U F M B is given in all the four kind of options over here. So I'll be going with the next four set. So that is nothing but. D S J T, D T J T again option A can be deleted, D R J T again it can be eliminated, C D U J T again it can be eliminated again, D S J T yes option D is our correct answer and we have found the logical relationship behind the given words. So I hope that everyone must have understood the question and with the very same thing we'll be moving on towards our first next question. So over here. What comes next in the series? Now you have come up with a numerical series. Uh, I would like to tell you that when you are solving any kind of series question, then specifically number series, then you should have uh, some of the concepts other than you know addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. You should also know that you can apply some of the shortcuts or some of the formulas related to sequences and series, which are nothing but maybe AP sometimes or GP, HP. Or maybe ABGP and so on. Okay, so uh, over here, try to solve the question. If you are not even able to solve it, at least try to you know uh, come up with the logic over here so that you can 
establish a relationship bit over there because at this point of time if you're trying to establish a, re- a relationship logic also then also you are way better than others who are not even trying at the very same time so just try to uh, come up with a logic over here so i hope that uh, many of you might have uh, understood the question and will also come up with an answer so what i see over here is i will be trying to put a relationship over here okay so over here now we will be solving the question so as for my logic i will be going with my, uh, some kind of apgp so what i can say is that 11 is nothing but a sum of 6 plus 5 this is the automatic number which comes into my mind now again everyone should know what is ap gp it is so ap is nothing but going further with a kind of same difference and gp is going with the same uh, kind of you know power so over here i'll be going with you know 32 as nothing but 7 which again comes with the ap and 5 to the power 2 that is nothing but 25 okay so i can see that 25 plus 7 is nothing but 32 yes my logic comes over here that yes it is a kind of ap gp question and i have established the logic over here for the very same thing you can even you know uh, uh, you know refer our website and uh, on prepinstaprime.com you can find each and every kind of uh, trick which you are uh, trying to you know learn and everything and over there you can find our logical course and you can even you know go through the logical course completely which uh, where our mentors have taught each and everything right from scratch and over there you can find each and every kind of trick to solve such kind of questions easily and that too within a fraction of second you can even go and prepare specifically for goldman sachs as it is a product based company and we know what is the need of the product based companies these days so you can come up and solve the questions and you can learn uh, more much more about everything as we all know that goldman sachs is also having a coding section so we have the Different, different kind of so, uh, coding sections with us that is intermediate coding competitive coding and data structures in c c++ everything python java where you can come up and learn each and everything right from scratch if you are even a student from core branch uh, like mechanical electrical or maybe civil then also you have a good chance because goldman sachs is open to everybody now so you can just go over there and learn each and everything right from scratch and you can come up with everything and you can learn uh, everything at the very same time so moving on to the solution uh, again i will be writing one thirty three as eight plus five to the power q again uh, since i know the uh, cubes and uh, squares of the numbers it is not necessary that you might be also knowing but it comes nothing but, but just because of practice so that is why i'm saying it again and again that a handful practice of such kind of questions is very necessary at the time of exams so 634 is nothing but 9 plus 5 to the power 4 so when i'll be going with the next set of task which is giving us the answer then it would be i guess 10 plus 5 to the power 5 so now rather than making up the calculators it is much more easier to do it so where you are going to learn such kind of tricks do not forget to you know come and uh, visit us on our uh, website prepinsta.com so over here 10 plus 25 cross 25 cross 25 so i know that 10 plus 25 uh, 5 to the power 5 is nothing but 3125 and 10 3135 so yes i can say that option d is the correct answer if you forget to add 10 at the very same time then many might uh, many of you might be marking a as the correct answer but that is the wrong answer so please keep in mind do not make such kind of silly mistakes so that you lose a mark over there because please be very sure that goldman sachs is even having a negative marking so moving on towards the next question okay so i guess this is the simplest question i can ever have on a goldman sachs qu- uh, like the uh, examination but let me tell you if you are doing it and not correctly then of course you will be losing a mark so you have to simply count the number of triangles in the given figure so let me see how many of you can you know comment the correct answer in the comment section so i'll be simply counting the triangles for you that is 
फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ आई एम डन विद बिगर वन सिक्स सेवेंथ एट नाइन्थ एंड देन टेंथ कूल सो माई आंसर विल बी टेंथ नाउ मेनी ऑफ यू माइंड बी काउंटिंग दिस एज द कंप्लीट यू नो ट्राइंगल बट प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट दीज आर नॉट प्रॉपरली जॉइंटेड सो यू डू नॉट कंसिडर दैम एज योर ट्राइंगल्स सो ओनली द करेक्ट आंसर वुड बी टेन ओवर यो so i hope that every one must have understood the question correctly at the time of counting the triangles please do not make a mistake and see the figure very carefully because this is the trick which they apply over there to in order to confuse the student because even they know that you are in your hustle you will be surely making a mistake over there so please be very careful at the time of solving the question then now we will be moving towards the next question so find the missing number in the image given below cool so again please make sure that the puzzles are you know one of the favorite sections of uh, goldman sachs examinations so please be prepared uh, be prepared with good number of puzzles like right? over here i have given you a square image over there you can find number of triangles or maybe circle puzzles and everything over there so just have a uh, you know again handful practice of questions so what i can see over here is that what i will see is that i cannot establish any kind of relationship in the first column or the second column because and the third column but what i know simply is that i can see that in the third row i can find the squares of numbers simply like 9 square 6 square again 24 square in the previous question also i have told you that i know what is 5 to the power 5 but you might be not knowing the same so you have to again practice so the same again over here i know that 24 uh, square is nothing but 576 so what i can see is now in the first row i can see that 13 minus 4 is nothing but 9 and then in the third row they have simply squared the number again in uh, second row i can see 25 uh, 21 minus 15 is nothing but Six again, six is square. In the next row, it is nothing but thirty-two minus something, which gives you twenty-four. So thirty-two minus x is equals to twenty-four. Thirty-two minus twenty-four is equals to x, and x is equals to eight. So our right answer is option A, that is eight. I hope that everyone must have understood the question very clearly, since it was very easy. but it takes time at the time of examination even for the ones who are doing it for the first time or maybe who are doing it after a long time it takes time we completely understand that is why i am again repeating that please uh, you know just practice any such kind of question so moving on towards the next question okay so we'll be reading the question first shraddha walks 28 km to the north okay and then turns to her right She then walks fifteen kilometers and turns to her left, and then walks two kilometers. Now, in which direction is Shraddha from her initial position? Okay, so the question belongs to directional sense. Over here, we have to do nothing about our you know, uh, distance which is, she is walking. Only we have to uh, answer in the sense of you know, which direction she is going. So. Shraddha walks twenty-eight kilometers. Let me suppose that Shraddha was over here in her initial position. Now she is walking towards her north. That is this twenty-eight kilometer. Then she turned towards her right. See again. Now I know what is my right, but at the time of examination, it is very difficult to go right and left. So I'll be telling you a short trick over here. Right is nothing but going in a clockwise direction. This is right. and left is nothing but going in an anti clockwise direction okay so keep that thing in a mind okay so over here she turns to her right and then she walks 15 kilometers from there she takes a left turn that is again clock anti clockwise what i said so she'll be walking in this direction so that is 2 kilometers now in which direction is she from her initial position so we should know the notation of 
direction that is nothing but like this so obviously she is somewhere in the northeast direction as per the given notation okay so the correct answer would be option c that is northeast so i hope that everyone must have done this question very much correctly now moving on towards the next question cool so mohan has two brothers okay we have now come up with the the kind of questions which are related to blood relations now at the time of blood relations it is very important to read the question at least twice so that you do not make any kind of mistake while establishing a relationship between the two brothers or maybe the two sisters or whatever is the question given so over here i can say mohan has two brothers okay so what is the notation of mohan brother brother Komal is the wife of Manish. Okay, now Komal can come over here. She is the wife of Manish and daughter-in-law of Ashok. Okay, so the daughter-in-law of Ashok it already signifies that Ashok is nothing but father of the three brothers. Ashok is the husband of Pawan's sister. So Ashok is the husband of. Pawan sister. Now, who is the only son of Rishi? Okay, so we can say that the father of Rishi, uh, sorry, power of uh, father of Pawan is Rishi. Now, how is Pawan related to Mohan? Okay, so we can say that from here we can deduce that Pawan. is the brother of ashok's wife so mohan is the son of her sister so we can say that mohan and pawan are related to each other as maternal uncle like pawan is nothing but mohan's maternal uncle so which means we in which uh, in pet language you say he is kind of you know uh the mother's brother over here so i hope that everybody is very much clear with the answer and everyone might have solved the question correctly now moving on towards the next question okay so now over here we are coming with up you know a very big question where you have to read a lot and where you have to go with each and every detail so before moving on towards the question i would just simply you know tell you some of the benefits of joining prepinstaprime.com so the very first you know the very first advantage is to have prepinstaprime.com is that you are get, uh, getting in uh, like you know 200 plus courses under one subscription so what is cooler than that obviously if you have everything under one subscription then nothing is cooler than that and where you can have each and everything related to your you know each and every kind of drive which is you know the simplest thing so you can even complete your projects over here with the given uh, details and everything you can even show these kind of projects at uh, the time of your interview even at the time of your resume and everything over here you can come up and study for operating systems dbms sql computer networks everything which is asked in goldman sachs as well as uh, different different drives at the time of examination even you can brush up your uh, basics of automata coding or maybe pseudo code and everything which is again a part of uh, goldman sachs you can even uh, go for a detailed preparation of uh, goldman sachs at the time uh, at a particular time since you know that the time is very less in your hands and rather than going for each and every complete course you can just simply go for goldman sachs over here and you can learn each and everything over here and then you can even you know check out our interview experiences from different different kind of students who have been selected in to goldman sachs or many other companies for which you are aspiring or maybe for your own dream company you can come up and check over here what interview experiences can, that can help you to prepare for your interview at the very same time you can even build your resume with us you can even you know uh, come up and uh, have the practice of puzzles as i already mentioned that puzzles are very important part of this thing so i hope that everyone is very much clear that how cool we are and how uh, you know sufficiently we can help you to grab your dream company so moving on towards the next question 
we'll be reading first of all the question so the question says p q r s t are cousins cool so p q r s t are the cousins theek hai each one of them has a favorite restaurant and likes to visit one of bbq rajasthan junction mcdonalds dominos and taco bell cool each one is a state level player in one of the five games cricket badminton squash chess and basketball so my question over here is uh, everybody might be knowing that cricket uh, what is cricket badminton or maybe chess or basketball how many do you actually know what is squash over here because uh, it happens many a times it is seen many a times that uh, some of the element of the questions generally confuse the uh, number of students like uh, uh, they do not have uh, the complete knowledge about the same in such kind of things it is always advised that if uh, your question is having a negative marking then try not to attempt such kind of question because uh, lack of knowledge can make your question incorrect so i would be telling you that squash is nothing but an indoor game which is played with a racket and a ball so again squash is a kind of game which is an indoor game so cricket squash and basketball are ball games okay squash and chess are indoor games cool now we will be reading our first condition so the first condition is is p does not like rajasthan junction and taco bell restaurants okay and plays a ball game okay so uh, we are very clear that p plays either cricket or squash or maybe basketball okay q and s do not play any ball game okay so which means that either they play chess or badminton and one of them has dominos as their favorite restaurant okay maybe dominos we are not very sure that who is having dominos as the favorite but we know that one of them is having okay so r does not like restaurant taco bell and plays an indoor ball game okay so r is playing a, uh, an indoor ball game so we know squash and chess are already the indoor games in which squash is again a ball game so it makes it very clear that r plays nothing but squash so over here we are not going with squash then t's favorite restaurant is bbq and is a basketball player okay so this easiers our work that bbq is the favorite restaurant of t and basketball is played by him oh uh -huh. so again we can see that cricket is nothing but p is game and it is played by p so now what is the question actually asking p's favorite game and restaurant respectively are okay so over here we have to find out which is the favorite restaurant and which is the favorite game of p so since we have already found out the favorite game and that is nothing but cricket so we will be automatically going with an option b so it is very clear we need not to even solve the complete question it is just that we know that cricket is nothing but the favorite game of p and we can go with the complete uh, uh, you can say uh, option so okay but is it fine to go with the complete you know just not to solve the complete question and just to go with the same thing it might felt okay because we have deduced the answer over here but sometimes what happen is that the options are very confusing you might have found another option with cricket maybe it was not chess over here it might be over here cricket then you have to solve the complete question because again you were given choices of restaurants as a different so i hope that everyone must have understood that what kind of level of questions they are asking and what kind of preparation do you need at the time of examination so i hope that everything is very clear to everyone for more you can follow us on our different different instagram pages and you can even uh, you know uh, join us over discord where you can ask again i'm telling you that we have our mentors over there we have a very cool community we have different different kind of students whom we are helping 24/7 you can ask each and every kind of query over there you can uh, just follow us over there and you can ask your drop down your queries every day every time and our mentors will be more than happy to help you you can follow us on our instagram 2024 handle or mates 2022 2023 so that you can get a regular update regarding everything you can even get you know the 
kind of updates regarding the complete uh, world which is uh, taking place these days for example recession has been a very uh, you know upsetting topic these days which is laying uh, which is the laying off of employees or whatever is happening these days you should be updated and you should always have a, a just about the thing which is going around you other than this like you can have uh, us on whatsapp and telegram where you can get the daily updates and you can get, uh, you have ample amount of updates from our side so that you do not miss out any opportunity you can even follow us on our linkedin uh, linkedin account that, uh, that is preference.com again where you can find everything re- regarding your placement drives or maybe uh, like uh, simply updates of full time opportunities or maybe internship opportunities for the batch of 2024 and do not forget to create a linkedin account for your own selves and if you are finding any kind of difficulty while you know creating a linkedin account uh, you can just drop us a query again on discord and you can uh, have your uh, query resolved and uh, of course so as i told you in the very first thing only that the top 3 commentators on this video will be getting the free access to prep insta prime subscription so do not forget to you know comment on this video and uh, wait for your prep insta prime subscription uh, access that too for free so we will be meeting you in the very next session and that too very soon till so that keep preparing and keep uh, appearing for the placement examinations or for the in, uh, internship opportunities and do very well with uh, everything and do not forget to be with us because we are here to help you with your placement drives thank you very much bye bye and keep preparing